rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. If you want it, if you want this, it's work. I don't feel depression. How can I feel depression when I'm the most powerful version of me that I could ever be? How can I feel depression when I could squeeze my own hand hard enough to break my own bones? How can I feel depressed? It's impossible. Because I got the hustle muscle. And he's like, what? I said, I got the hustle muscle. Now there's this whole trend on YouTube that self-improvement is ruining your life. Life's too short to exercise. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> there are so many better things to do than exercise. Maybe some of it's kind of clickbaity. To be honest, this video might be a little clickbaity. <laughs> but I don't know. I do feel like some of it is kind of misleading, in my opinion. Oh, you know, self-improvement is only good as long as you aren't overdoing it. Uh, constant self-improvement, it's toxic. You need, you need balance. That you shouldn't put that much pressure on yourself. As a man, I do think you should put that pressure on yourself. And all the bad things, having the trauma, all the pain, all the I've been through. You ain't a good man if you haven't had trauma. Uh, a man without Andrew. trauma is a weakling. I think it'll do a man good. In fact, I think you should be a little extreme. I think you should maybe overdo it. I know that seems like controversial as frick, bro, but hey, look, if you want to separate yourself from everybody else out there, that's what it takes. You got to go over and above. If you want to be unlike everybody else, you must be willing to do what everybody else isn't willing to do. At the beginning of this year, I mean, I was lost, bro. I mean, financially, spiritually, every which way. In fact, I was about ready to hang up the jersey and quit YouTube. I was thinking about moving on and doing something else. Maybe go out and live a more simple life because I wasn't feeling too purposeful. But I thought to myself, I was like, hey, what if I gave this thing one last shot? What if I just went all out, hit the ground running, and gave it my all for one year? What would happen? Because like I've said in previous videos, one of my biggest fears in life is settling. Settling for less than what I know I'm capable of. So I just thought to myself, let's see what happens. Let's go, let's go out with the bang. Let's hit the ground running with like that no days off mentality, and let's see what God can do. So I decided to just dive all into self-improvement. I'm talking not just physically, but spiritually, emotionally, financially, relationally, every which way. And I think that's where a lot of YouTubers get a little mixed up. They only look at self-improvement one-dimensionally, kind of like how uh, TikTokers look at self-improvement, you know, working out, getting bigger muscles and uh, showing off their sharp jawlines and maybe growing a little following while they're at it, which, hey, all that stuff's cool, but that's only one pillar out of the all six. Yes, getting healthier is important. Yes, building up your physique so you look more physically attractive is important. But so is spiritually feeding yourself so you can grow closer to God. So is reading that self-help book on how to improve your relationships, how to connect with your spouse. So is watching that piece of content that helps you overcome all your addictions and temptations. All of it plays its part and you have to fully dive into it. Yes, you have to be extreme. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. You can't spend half of your days building yourself up and then the other half self-indulging because you need a healthy balance. Don't get me wrong, I understand you know, having a vacation every once in a while. I understand maybe taking a day off to reset and get your energy back up. Earn it. Work your ass off, bro. Me personally, I think having an unhealthy balance, I think that might just save all of your problems or maybe at least most of them. Think about it, us men, we were made to work. Going back to the creation, when God created Adam, day one, he gave him responsibilities. Day one, he put him in charge, put him to work. So to anyone saying that self-improvement won't save you, I know they might disagree with me, but in my opinion, I think it just might. With that said, I do think that there is one thing that could potentially harm you. Not initially, but in the long run on your journey with self-improvement. Not a lot of YouTubers are talking about this. I've actually never heard anybody talk about this before, but there's a dark little side to this thing that you gotta watch out, that you gotta be aware of. And so the one thing that I think we should really be aware of as men is becoming self-obsessed, self-indulged. There's self-improvement, right? But then there's also that thin line of selfishness. And so, hey, check it out. Self-improvement, it's a warrior's journey. I remember Shia LaBeouf said in a recent interview, he said, being a warrior means bringing others back. And what that means to me as a man is lending a helping hand, helping the next man, 
raising a boy to be a better man than you, right? That's the point of all this. Self-improvement isn't our purpose, being useful is. Self-improvement is just the vehicle that allows you to become more useful. I see a lot of young men these days and it's just wild how they're so immersed into themselves and building up themselves that they neglect others. They neglect the true purpose. And you gotta think to yourself, as a man, why do I improve myself? Why am I constantly focused on leveling up? It's to lend a hand to the next man. It's to pass down that wisdom, that knowledge. It's about connecting with other brothers, building up the next generation, connecting with them. Look, bro, hey, it's cool to get big muscles, get a nice chiseled jawline. It's cool to build up your business, 5x your money, 10x your income. It's cool to be like straight edge and be the type of guy who doesn't cuss, who doesn't drink. It's all cool, don't get me wrong, all good stuff. But the second you flaunt it, the second you boast about it, it ain't cool anymore, bro. Oh, you haven't fapped in three months? Well, that's cool. Well, I haven't fapped in six months. Oh, you only go to the gym five days a week? I, I go every day, I go seven days. Oh, you cuss? Yeah, I, I don't cuss. Oh, you drink? Oh, nah, I don't do that, I don't drink. I don't do stuff like that, I don't smoke. I don't, uh. So hey, look, if you're gonna be extreme and you're gonna be on your self-improvement, that's like the number one rule, bro. Don't flaunt it, don't boast about it. The second you do that, it, it, you're, all your self-improvement, it doesn't even matter anymore, bro. All your little achievements, that just goes out the window. We don't climb this mountain just to look down on others. We climb the mountain to show others what's possible. And we lend a helping hand to those who want to climb too. But check it out, there's also a flip coin to this narcissism. You got the dudes who are cocky, who flaunt it, who look down on others. But then you also got your dudes who aren't progressing as quick, who are comparing themselves to the guys who are having rapid growth. And then they're becoming just so down and out, so depressed. Right? And this is a very scary position to be in as well. We had a guy in the Discord uh, about a month or two ago who was just so down and out on himself. He was always constantly comparing himself to the other dudes in his life, thinking he wasn't uh, as good looking as them. He thought he didn't have as good a physique as them. Every little area of his life, he was just comparing, 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 not really taking a good look at himself and how much he actually has progressed. And the whole crazy thing about this is this kid was actually really good looking, right? He was actually doing very good in life and everybody in the uh, Discord just kept saying, hey bro, like, you need to stop tripping, bro. Like, you're doing good, you're progressing, you look good, right? You dress nice, the whole nine yards. And his replies would be, oh no, you guys are just lying. You guys aren't telling the truth. No, I'm actually super ugly. No, you know, my parents gave me bad genetics. And so week after week of him doing this, I finally got in the Discord and I replied to him and I was just like, hey bro, stop being so hard on yourself. You're doing fantastic. You look great. And I actually challenged him. I said to him, hey, instead of coming in the Discord every day, talking about all your problems and why, you know, everything is just against you, come into the Discord and make it a goal to hit up five guys every single day and give them each a word of encouragement. That's my goal for you. And now ever since I've seen him in that Discord, all of a sudden he's so much brighter, right? He has so much more to give now. All of a sudden now he's actually connecting with these guys in the Discord and he's helping building up other men. So I hope this video encourages you guys today. I just wanted to kind of get some things off my chest, share my thoughts with you. So hey, if you dug it, please give this video a nice big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop new content and check out this video right here if you want to take your life to the next level as a man and I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace always.